Hallo, welcome, 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 bitte schön. I'm just kidding. Okay, let's get into business. In today's video, we will make our scene a little bit prettier. And we will make our snake grow, I mean scale, when we eat a certain orb first. Let's order this up. Let's create empty. We'll call it just orbs. And we'll go ahead, select all orbs, and just put it inside there. That's right. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do, I will import these two images. I will provide you a link down in the description. Where are they importing? One by one, okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna use this on the plane, so we're just gonna go ahead and call this Old Stone Road. We're gonna go ahead and drag them onto there. Let's enable the mesh render. We'll give it a material. Okay, let's resize this to 100. And let's change the tiling to 10, 10, still too much, 100 by 100. Okay, that looks good actually. If, what if we see 150? That looks even better. And if we say 170. That looks more squarey, so we'll just keep it 150 by 170. We can maybe make it a little more shanty. No, it's okay. Okay, so for the orbs, I imported this image, dial a render, I don't know what it is. Let's go ahead and create new material. Dial render, it's called like that. And in order to get the transparency, since it's a PNG image, we'll go Legacy, Transparent, Pump, Diffuse, and you should see it will become transparent. So let's go ahead. Oh, and let's go ahead and create our orb prefab. Just drag it onto here. Let's put our material on this, and let's delete the other orbs like this. Let's edit this one a little bit. Okay, so the image isn't really... Let's make it something like offset. Let's rescale it. To make it a bit nicer, like so. Oh, okay, so this is going to be 2. One. Okay, this is also going to be 1.6. Now let's put Z 0 0.5, so when our snake goes over it, it's not under. Okay, so I think that's about it. Put it a bit here. Okay, let's change the box collider to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Let's leave this to 1. Okay, let's go ahead and apply it to our prefab. My dog is annoying. Go away. <laughs> okay, so we said we're gonna make our snake grow when we. Let me just go ahead and duplicate while I talk. While we eat certain orbs. So let's go into our script. Let's go into our script. So we're gonna add a new function that is gonna return true or false and it will be called boolean size up it will take integer which we'll call x let's see so the variables we will need here are private integer orb counter so we know on which orb we are private int current orb so we know the position in the list public int array grow on this orb this is going to be a list of orbs on which we want our snake to grow in scale not in length another one is private vector 3 current size so we can keep track of our snake size it will be vector.1 which is same as new vector actually not new which is the exact same like if we say new vector 3 0 0 0 except we can just say a vector 3 dot 1 okay so the another one we have is public float growth 
rate is going to be a rate of our snake growth in scale and last one public float body part over time follow since our snake is going to grow I think it was something like this since our snake is going to grow the body parts will shrink and we need to give more space there okay so we're gonna go with if x at equals row grow on this orb of current orb then we want the current orb to plus plus it will increase by one increment by one return true so if we are on the current orb and if the x is on the counter it will return true else return false and we will not size up and when another parameter in every case return false to just growing length not in scale and in case we run out of the grown this orb let's say you only have two wishes on which orb you want to size up we're gonna put this in try so we escape actually I'll leave it like this we'll add the try later okay so this is it for this part and let's go into our on collision enter we will add this one first we want to add orb counter increment by one plus plus so we're going to write a new if statement if size up orb counter equals false then we want this if body parts we're gonna put this inside if we want to grow in length then we're gonna go like this if body parts else we want to say else else current size plus equals vector 1 times growth rate and the body part over time follow plus equal I don't know let's say 0 0.04 float so it's not all clogged up and transform the local scale equals current size because we need to update the head size so this is the head size and now we're going to use a for each loop I don't know if you met that one but it's basically like a for loop but it's simpler in some cases so you see what type of uh, variable it's gonna be you name it you give it a name and in which array so we're gonna go transform for each transform we're gonna give it a name of body body part x excuse me body part x in body parts open the brackets so we're gonna go body part x the local scale equals current size enter body part dot x dot get component snake body over time equals body part over time follow and now we're gonna go in this one and add it a little bit so the current one also change the scale so we're gonna go behind this hit enter make some space we're gonna go new body part the local scale equals current size so we update the new body part to the current size we update the speed to new body part dot get component snake body dot over time the time that it follows the previous body part body part over time follow and that's it for this one and we're just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this into this one okay so we go into our game and we hit play actually not yet unreachable code detected let me just check so what if I comment this? Uh, 
Okay, so so our rays are an index, so which I know which one. Okay, so if we say actually why is it giving error? Oh because okay, so if we say we want to grow on the second orb and the fourth orb, we're just gonna make a ray out of two, the second orb and the fourth one. So if we go ahead and say one, two, you see it's scaled up, three, four, it's scaled up, and we're getting errors index out of array, and this is because we're not checking if there is other body parts, so we're just gonna go ahead and put try catch here, try catch, like this, catch system dot exception let's say e and it's gonna be we're gonna print it out no more grow from this point add more rows and we're gonna print the stack trace which is gonna be e dot stack trace dot two string and hit let's go back into unity now it says all Passing to return the value. Now you go here. We uncomment this return fa return false. And if we go one, two, we size up. Three, four, we size up. And now you see we grow, and we get a message: no more grow from this point. Add more rows, but our body parts still at up at the end and. It works. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and see the shadow. I'm just gonna go and put this on minus one. Actually one. So our shadow is a little bit closer. And that's it for this part. In the next one we're gonna do snake running. And that was it for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you got any questions, just comment it down below. I'll probably answer. Until next time, see ya.